There's a new sheriff in town in Tampa Bay, and apparently he means business. I'm talking, of course, about Greg Schiano, Tampa's new head coach they hired from the collegiate ranks. Schiano has been at Rutgers for the last several years. Now, Schiano's different from the modern-day players coach so common around the NFL. This guy's an old-school old school football coach, a disciplinarian, a guy who'll get in your face, a guy who'll tell you if you're doing something wrong. The first thing he did when coming to Tampa Bay, he got rid of guys he perceived as bad attitudes, guys like Kel Kellen Winslow, even though Winslow led the team last year in receptions, defensive tackle Brian Price. It's Shiano's way or the highway, and apparently it's the highway for some of these guys. This guy, Shiano, is cut out of the same mold as Tom Coughlin, who coincidentally won the Super Bowl last year. We'll see if he has similar results in Tampa. Now, he inherits a team that was bad on both sides of the ball, a team that was undisciplined, so his first order of business is creating a winning atmosphere. Bucks were 4-12 and last season, also 4-12 and against the number, an absolute toxic team to back. Their biggest problem was the regression of quarterback Josh Freeman. Now, Freeman looked like an up-and-coming quarterback. He was two years in and coming into last season, was one of the sort of bright, shining young stars in the league. At least that's what people thought. Severely regressed last year, ended up throwing 22 interceptions, almost appeared to quit sometimes the year went along. Apparently rededicated himself this offseason, shed 20 pounds. We'll see if that rededication leads to better play. Defense is also another huge problem in Tampa. They addressed that through the draft by... Four out of the, by uh, using four out of the first five draft picks on defensive players. They also signed cornerback Eric Wright in free agency. A couple of big free agency signings on offense as well. Wide receiver Vincent Jackson from the San Diego Chargers, a Pro Bowl wide receiver, one of the best in the league, and Pro Bowl guard Carl Nix signed from the New Orleans Saints. So they got Freeman some help. They got that defense some help, trying to bolster that defense a little bit. We'll see if Shiano's way ends up working in Tampa. Now, the Bucks a long shot to do anything this year. I mean, the Bucks are in a tough division, NFC South. Nearly everybody is projecting the Bucks to finish last in the NFC South. I'd be shocked if they were better than Atlanta or New Orleans. Uh, Carolina, you know, it wouldn't stun me. I'm not as high on Carolina as some people are this year. But still, the Bucks an uphill climb to say the least. 100-1 to right now to win the Super Bowl out in Vegas. 144-1 to on bet deck. Listen, folks, the Tampa Bay Bucks are not winning the Super Bowl, so if you're a Bucks fan or you're a fan of a long shot bet, the underdog, go ahead and waste a couple of dollars on them. If not, save your money for something else.